Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gail, an incoming third year medical technology student at the University of Santa Tomas, and I asked you to leave some questions about medical technology in my video about tips and advice for freshies, and today I am finally going to be answering them. So the first question is, what are the usual major subjects in medtech? Of course, the major subjects in medtech are the board subjects, which are clinical chemistry, microbiology and parasitology, hematology, blood banking and serology, clinical microscopy, histopathology, and medtech laws and bioethics. And you first take these subjects when you're in second year. So in that year, you take up parasitology and medtech laws. And the rest of the subjects, you will take them up when you're in third year and fourth year. What were your subjects during first year? When I was in first year, of course, I had to take gen ed subjects or the minor subjects. And I also had to take like the major subjects or the subjects related to medical technology. And the major subjects were Principles of Medical Technology, Practice 1 and 2, Human Anatomy and Physiology with Pathophysiology, Inorganic and Organic Chemistry, Biostatistics and Epidemiology, Analytical Chemistry, and Human Histology. And then the minor subjects or the Gen Ed subjects were Filipino, Mathematics in the Modern World, NSTB, PE, Propulsive Communication, Science, Technology, and Society, Theology, Life and Works of Rizal, Readings in Philippine History, and Understanding the Self. What was the hardest subject you encountered in college? When I was in first year, the most difficult subject for me was histology, mainly because the practicals were really difficult because the specimens look similar and it's really challenging to identify and to differentiate them correctly. Histology was a really challenging subject, but in third year, the most difficult subject for me was pharmacology and I have no idea why but when I study pharmacology I just feel like I don't retain information. It's so difficult to memorize and to remember all the drugs. There is just so much to study and to remember in pharmacology which is why it was the hardest subject for me in second year. This USD offers scholarship. Yes, USD offers scholarship and there are actually four kinds and they are academic scholarship, student assistance scholarship, scholarship for the gifted, and equity scholarship. And I am not gonna go into detail into those, so if you want to learn more about these scholarships, just visit their website. Everything that you need to know is there. How much is the tuition? USD released a table of fees for academic year 2020 to 2021, and the full payment for first year med tech is $66,836. And if without NSTP, it would be $64,298. Do you need to be smart to study med tech? Well, for me, what's important when studying medtech is to know how to study diligently and to study smart. Studying hard isn't enough. You need to study smart, which means you need to learn how to prioritize which subjects to study first. You really need to learn how to manage your time so that you will be able to survive this course. I think that if you just do your best in everything that you do, just take all your subjects seriously, don't cut, don't skip classes, but of course, don't forget to take breaks. And by doing those things, I think that you will be able to survive this course. Can I take medtech in college if my strand is Humes? 
Yes, you can take medtech in college even if your strand is fumes or even if it's not science related or health related. In fact, the strand of one of my classmates is fumes and she's studying medical technology. So yeah, I guess it is okay even if your strand is not related to medical technology. Well, that's what I know in USD. I'm not sure if it's applicable to other schools, but I think that you can take whatever course you want even though your strand is not related to it. But of course, it would be better if your strand is like similar to the course that you will take up so that you will have a background of the subjects that you will have in the future. Did you take BSMT to make it a profession or is it your pre-med? Medtech is my pre-med which means that I am planning to go to med school after college and the reason why I chose medtech as my course is because it was also my mom's pre-med and she said that the subjects in medtech and in medicine are similar and some of the subjects in medtech you're going to take them up in medicine again so that's why I chose this course and I honestly don't regret it because I'm having so much fun it's a really interesting course you will be able to learn a lot and I honestly feel like a med student <laughs> aside from medtech what are your other choices Okay, so fun fact, I only applied at UST for college because I had my senior high school at UST, so I only applied to that school. My two choices were medtech and pharmacy. Of course, medtech was my first choice, and I actually thought about choosing biochem as my second choice. But if I had to choose a course that was in science related or med related, I would probably pick like engineering or architecture or interior design or maybe even graphic design. I'm not really sure because majority of my life I already thought about taking up medical technology in college as my pre-med because it is my dream to become a doctor someday. What was your strand in senior high school? So my strand in senior high school was health allied and as I said earlier, I had my senior high school at USD and I really don't regret taking health allied as my strand because it sort of prepared me for my subjects in medical technology because in health allied we had like anatomy and chemistry so it was really nice to be able to take up those subjects in senior high school because it really prepared me for medical technology. I was doing venipuncture during first year med tech in USD. Tips for someone who is afraid to make Tusok. Before college started, venipuncture was something that I looked forward to. And if you didn't know what venipuncture was, it's when you take blood from a patient, you know, when they insert a needle into your vein. And I was really excited when I found out that we were going to be taught how to do venipuncture in first year instead of third year. And when the time came to actually do it, I was really nervous and I was like hesitating to insert the needle because I was afraid of hurting my classmate and I was like afraid that the blood would just squirt and splatter so yeah that was like really terrifying but it was also exciting but honestly after you do it for the first time your confidence slowly starts to build and you would just want to keep on doing it to keep on practicing to just do it to any person that you see like even your family after the first time it wouldn't be so bad you won't be as nervous as before but honestly my hands still shake when I do venipuncture but you just need to keep on practicing so that you will be confident in doing this procedure and when you're doing venipuncture your professor will guide you so don't be afraid and remember after your first time it won't be so bad anymore and you will slowly become a pro in doing it have you experienced doing blind shot? No, I haven't experienced doing blind shot. And blind shot is when you insert the needle even though you're not sure where the vein is. And I have.
haven't done that because as much as possible I want to locate the vein because I'm scared to just insert it even though I'm not sure where the vein is but I am probably going to experience this at least once in the future especially during internship what were the problems you encountered especially when you were a freshie one of the problems that I encountered, especially when I was a freshie, was having a 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. schedule. So just imagine being at school for 12 hours. It was really, really tiring. And you basically have no time to study when you get home because when you get home from school, all you want to do is lie down and sleep because you're so tired like you're going to wake up early for your 7 a.m. class and you're gonna get home late because your class ends at 7 p.m. and on top of that we usually had exams or quizzes every single day so what I did was I tried to maximize my time I tried to study during breaks so that I wasn't like wasting time because it was kind of like impossible to study at home after class because I was always so tired. I really hate 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. classes. So that was really challenging and even when I was a sophomore, we still had 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. classes and it was really just exhausting. Oh my gosh, my storage became full, so it stopped recording. I'm sorry if like the angle changed or something. Another problem that I encountered was having so much requirements or deadlines right before exam week. So if you are going to be studying medtech at USD, expect to have a lot of things to do right before exams because for some reason, professors just love to give projects assignments, deadlines, right before exam week, which is why we call the week before exams hell week since we always have to do so much. But once you realize that the professors love to give things to do before exam week, you will be able to prepare yourself physically and mentally and you will be able to kind of manage your time. So that's all for today. If you still have more questions about medical technology, just leave a comment below and I will try to make another Q&A video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!